And I want to talk about Islam for a moment because I think we are wise to be concerned about it. As you know, I'm concerned about religion in general, but we're, we're facing a problem at this moment. There is, there is, I'm happy to say, a religion of peace in this world, but it's not Islam. Okay. To call Islam a religion of peace, as we hear ceaselessly reiterated, is completely delusional. Now, Jainism actually is a religion of peace. Jainism is a, that the core principle of Jainism is nonviolence. Gandhi got his nonviolence from the Jains. The crazier you get as a Jain, the less we have to worry about you. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> this is, I mean, Jain extremists are, are actually, they are, they are paralyzed by their pacifism. Jain extremists just, they, they can't take their eyes off the ground when they walk lest they step on an ant. They filter every sip of water through cheesecloth lest they sw swallow and thereby kill a bug. I mean, needless to say, they're, they're vegetarian. So the problem, notice, the problem is not religious extremism. Okay, because extremism is not a problem if your core beliefs are truly nonviolent. The problem isn't fundamentalism, which we often hear this said. These are euphemisms. I mean, the, the only problem with Islamic fundamentalism are the fundamentals of Islam. If, he were, if these guys were Jains, or Buddhists, or Amish, or Quakers, it would be, it would be patently obvious how they were distorting their religion. I mean, the, the, in fact, their behavior would be unintelligible. Okay, it is not obvious by the light of Islam, and that this is just a fact we have to speak honestly about. And no one should be speaking more honestly about this and more volubly about this than moderate Muslims.